My name is Florence Marici, representing Zimbabwe Red Cross Society, Maronda Youth Branch. Our idea was to venture into poetry and horticulture projects as a way to tackle the problems that were caused by the continuous COVID-19 lockdowns. The problems that surfaced during the COVID-19 pandemic that affected our youth and communities are loss of employment like retrenchments, collapse of formal and informal trading, drug abuse in which idleness in youth caused this in the community and teenage pregnancies due to schools closure. From the onset of COVID-19, we all know that a lot of people lost their lives and some lost of their jobs and a lot of companies, even the government, scaled down their workforce to a certain percentage that was allowed to go to work. And these were part of the breadwinners these youth depended on, resulting in many becoming vulnerable. We want to help the youth and the vulnerable community to have a good nutrition, equipping them with um, the skills so that they become self-reliant by gaining skills and training and to engage the youth in poetry and horticulture projects to reduce antisocial behavior. We consulted the agronomist for our horticulture project. He helped us with the land preparations and also we have professional farmers amongst our volunteers who helped with us uh, with the process of setting up our projects. The agriculture extension officer helped us with the soil survey so that we produce quality products. On our poultry projects, we were trained by profits as we were given guidelines on how to feed and take care of the chicks, cleaning the fowl run and also bedding as well as marine renovations. Uh, we attended different webinars and workshops. We attended different webinars and workshops with the Sofia Runa Academy as they helped us with the process of prototyping for our specific project. We also attended an innovation um, workshop which was organized by our Zimbabwe National Society as they shared with us on how to implement our ideas. With the workshops that we attended, we adopted the humanitarian innovation as we engaged in the project first hand. So in practice, we noticed that some of the input is needed as well as commitment amongst the volunteers. Our own leading innovation, the impact on the community at large is the engagement of the target group as we are working together with them on the project. We also used implementation and scaling, and for this, we used the smart approach. With the funds that we got from Limitless, we started with 100 chicks and a 20 by 20 square meter piece of land where we planted carrots and beans. For the poultry project, in six weeks, the chicks will be ready for market, and for the horticulture project, we planted, we planted carrots and a variety called Nancy. The projects will be ready in three months. The stakeholders that we worked with uh, include the government agronomist, agriculture extension officer, profits, and seed corp. In testing our prototype, we managed to gather knowledge and learned a lot from this process. As a team, we got to learn and obtain skills regarding horticulture and also management of poultry from our major service provider in poultry, for example, profits. In addition, we acquired knowledge on project management and also the requirements of meeting our goal as a team through commitment. Our poultry and horticulture project is of higher impact to our community as they will benefit positively in so many ways. Our community will manage to fight food insecurities and malnutrition from the produce of this project. Creation of employment opportunities Reduction of substance abuse is the youth who spend much of their time engaged in this project. He has less time for antisocial behaviors and youths who attain skills that will enable them to be self-reliant. If we are granted further funding, our wish is to expand our project, increasing the number of chicks and also acquiring lands of our own so that we will carry out this project on a high, larger scale. This will help us to be able to venture into contract farming, engaging with our major poultry stakeholders around Zimbabwe. For example, we've got Ivins, we've got Shari and Crest, and expanding the project. In so doing, we will enable our team to increase the number of beneficiaries as well as the benefits to our target group, such as fees, 
stationery, food items, and uniforms.